Welcome to Agents of Scream, the first and only place to come to for movie reviews live at the cinema. We have a very special guest and a very special episode for you today. None other than the most successful candidate ever and winner of The Apprentice 2019. Welcome to Karina Lepore! overwhelmed and you know it's all a bit surreal um but excited as you know we've been supporting you from day one you know ed our very own agent has been watching the show with you weekly and the green screen you're seeing me yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll be honest though the weekly selfies are lifted so, you know, <laughs> yeah. at least one of them i'm going to be framing and putting in my room oh, good. for 100 <laughs> percent. we are cute no they are good photos i think every week uh, every time we watch it i always have to get out like we gotta get this photo, we gotta yeah. put it up yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. In the final episode, I thought the, the pivotal moment where you find out you're the winner, it was quite a subdued celebration. That being said, we wanna give you opportunity to celebrate, we will celebrate with you. So we're gonna try and reenact the final yeah. moment and we're gonna celebrate. I quite like the idea of more bread. Karina, I want you to be my this partner. That's what you should have done in the movie. That's what you should have done. Jumped on the table. Yeah, send them across the top. Like team Yeah. <laughs> team <laughs> We can't wait for June. You've obviously been in some very pressured situations. You've been in the boardroom, of course, on a day-to-day -day basis. You've been you know, the owner of Doe Bakehouse. At Agents of Screen, we want you to be comfortable here. So we have the green screen behind us. You can choose any background you want, anywhere in the world that you want to be. It could be in heaven, it could be in the Amazonian jungle, it could be in Jurassic Park with the dinosaurs. Ah! Ed, it's not real. It's not real, Ed. It's not real. Oh, right. It's not real. It's all right. It's all right. Don't worry. It's, just, it's just a green screen. It's just technology. Okay. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, okay, effects. okay. All right. All right. Fair. But yeah, anywhere you where would, where would you like to be? Right um, now? let me think. So I've had a tough, long 12 weeks, yeah, so know. I would like to relax somewhere nice. So send me to a lovely beach. I knew she was going to say Bali that. Bali or something. I knew she was going to say that. With a hammock. With a hammock. Yeah. We can sort that. Sort you. it. So, so right about now, we're in Bali. Oh, no. <laughs> Do you feel better already? Relax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah very relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> There's a couple of things that a few people have been wondering. I see it asked on social media every single week. I've seen articles about it. So if you can just clear this up once and for all. Do you really have 20 minutes to get ready? I need to get asked. The thing is, it's always, yeah. always, people are always asking on social media and no one believes it. Do you actually have 20 minutes? It's true, get? but only true on the first day, the phone call day of task. Right. So say you have a three day task, you have day one, the phone goes, we find out where we're going. 20 minutes 20 to get minutes ready. To get yes. ready. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's seem... real. And then the next day you'll just get up early, four, five, six, so then we know. And then the next day is boardroom day, which is a bit later. Yeah. So is anyone running late? Like 20 minutes isn't enough time. Like, is anyone like sort of coming down the stairs? Yeah. Can you do that again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, quite a few of us. Yeah. Tough, yeah, and the cameras in your face, and you just want to get ready, and everyone's like, "Oh, yeah." Oh, so it's not like a, a Big Brother thing where they hide the cameras. No, they come in. They literally in. got big, first massive cameras yeah. just following you around. First in. Were there any days that anyone left the house without brushing their teeth, for example? <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not from my room. I was talking about the boys. Boys, <laughs> but not the girls. Have you had any sort of celebrities coming into the shop? Anyone quite well known that's popped in? Not since, not off the back of the show's airing, no. But we've had, you know, we've had some famous faces in throughout our one year. Well, I mean, we've only been open. Oh, it's more than a year now, but you well, know, who, within the first few who's coming few in? months, even we was getting people in. Um, really? We've had a few faces, famous faces in. Yes. Okay. Okay. Go to Joe Bakehouse on Instagram to see. Is it all on there? So you'll see exactly who's been. Okay, in it's there. all on. It's all on the Instagram page so, yeah. at Doe Bakehouse. It'll be on the 
It'll be on the screen. It'll be on the screen right here at Doe oh, Bakehouse on Instagram. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Don't yeah. put it over my Okay, as the most successful candidate ever. 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 I mean, I'm talking nine out of 10 wins. Three of those you PM'd, won every single PM task, never been back in the boardroom. No. You're now in the history books. Mm -hmm. So do you feel any pressure going forward now that that's all out of the way, you just made history? Do you now feel any pressure going forward at all? Not really. I feel like I've proved myself now, if you know what I mean. Like, the stats speak for themselves, you know. You don't win nine out of ten tasks. Like Karen Brady said on my final panel, it's not by luck. Like, exactly. That is not luck. That's hard work. It's consistency. And, um, yeah, I think it speaks for itself. Obviously, there's pressure to, to sort of... Um, continue that mm -hmm. that yeah. success really that sort of rate of success but yeah i like to think i can rise to the challenge yeah yeah perfect i, I think you can rise to the yeah, challenge thanks. i think all of us here at agents of screen were supporting you the whole way and thanks. every single time we knew crane has got this one to be honest yeah there were even some tasks where it was clear like you were the reason why mm. your team won that task so i don't think it was luck at all like it wasn't just being on the right team it was Quite clear, yeah. you did what you had to do. Mm -hmm. So back in the Apprentice Mansion, what did you guys get up to while the cameras weren't rolling? Like, what, what was that kind of like? We didn't get loads of downtime, to be honest, because mm. um, the days were so long. So when you get home, it's like 9, 9.30. Really? Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. yeah, and then you know you've got to be up early, so you want to get your sleep in, and you're not going to perform the next day. So we would generally just eat whatever bath, you want to relax, whatever. Who used to cook? We take turns, so we get catered food for them days because there's no time to cook. Right. So we'd have food there, whatever it may be. It was nice food. So we'd eat them days, and then boardroom day, Tom would do boardroom breakfast, we call it. Tom! All round fry up, like. Oh, yeah. Um, like, it's sort to of be honest, he, going on. he does love the calf, to be fair. Oh, and it was so nice. I needed it because boardroom day was so long, and he, yeah, so he set us up. Mm. So boardroom breakfast. And then on days off, we'd go in our little group. So say me and Tom were cooking that night, or or Rion was a great cook, Gemeline would cook. Yeah, we'd have, we'd yeah. take turns. I'd say uh, that's something I definitely want to see. I'd love to see Tom prepare breakfast. So like, right, Karina, do you want this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you don't want one egg. Stone, yeah. You're getting behind, yeah. You, you don't want good. one egg, you want two eggs. Yeah. <laughs> well, you don't have to do small breakfast here. Crap the egg, bosh, yeah, you bosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. Speaking of Tom, actually, um, just like all of us, you watched weekly, viewing it yourself on TV and the show in general, did you have anyone that was like your fave person to watch? Ryan Mark, I think. Really? really? It's just so funny. He is too funny. I wasn't expecting it's so that one, so really. funny. Now, Tom I love, but Tom is Tom, like, yeah, everyone yeah, yeah, loves yeah. Tom. Um, but Ryan Mark, just, it's just, I like that sort of... You know that person. Yeah, he, he was a character. Ryan Mark was a real character. So to watch him back, yeah, yeah. it's it's actually very really fun. I think anyone with a double barrel first name. Yeah, <laughs> he looks exactly yeah. like someone else said that. Yeah. yeah, how someone with a double barrel Ryan first Mark. name would would, would act. And I, I think he really found himself in his villain character before when From he was there, doing it. Yeah. yeah, as soon as he found he did his villain character, I think he found his his. I think I've got a voice note of him doing um because. One of my um, employees really, really enjoyed him, and she, he sent her a voice note of him doing it because he called it his Cockney accent. <laughs> Wait, what? what? Yeah, so I was like, Do you a Cockney villain? And he did it at Queen of Slime. He really tried to be a Cockney <laughs> villain, and it was so funny. So I've, I've got that somewhere. Oh, we had the teardrops on this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Whose idea that? was that? That was um, one of the girls, Pamela or Gemini. They were like, oh. They had some makeup, I learned, they were like, Let's just do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. How good was that? Hilarious. Brilliant, genius. That was hilarious. So, obviously. This is The Apprentice 2019. Everyone is familiar with the premise. So Ed and I, for you, the roles are gonna be reversed. You were a candidate before, but now you're gonna be like in Lord Sugar's shoes. We're gonna pitch a business or product idea to you. Okay. You're gonna let us know if it's a good one or if you would hire or fire us, depending. Ed, do you wanna do the honors song? Uh, yeah, okay. All right, so I've got a, a product idea, mm -hmm. okay. So you wanna cook a breakfast. Right. So you put your toast down, you start frying your eggs, you start doing what you got to do. And then your toast pops up, right? So you go, you know what? You take your toast out, you start spreading it, butter melts so nicely on that toast, oh, throw that one down. By the time you take the second piece of toast out, it's just not hot enough for the butter to melt anymore. So I've got a product idea, a toaster that you, <laughs> a toaster that you put your toast down, one toast pops up, 
and the other one's got like a, a 30 second delay until it comes up. That's that way, not in existence already? Timer. What? <laughs> no, that's not. I'm, what I've done. This is what an interviewer would ask. I, <laughs> I mean, if it exists, the person who created it didn't have a good enough business idea and didn't go on Apprentice for, because I don't have that toaster. Mm. So why do I want it and I don't have it? Therefore, I've had to invent it. So toast that the second toast pops up after a 30 second delay. Mm. You think it's needed? It, I, I think that is needed. And you I can't think, just put your bit of toast, a bit of bread in a bit later than the first no. one. If it's such an issue to you. Well, because then you've got to do that twice. <laughs> do you? So if it's, it's down, a... you just put it in. It's already down. <laughs> these, are, these are important <laughs> questions. <laughs> have, you, have you studied your business plan before proposing <laughs> it to me? <laughs> 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 it looks a bit thin. Where's the rest <laughs> yeah. of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two maidens. <laughs> Two maidens. <laughs> All right, All right come time, back yeah. to me, come yeah. back to me. Okay, so my business idea are flavoured lollipops. This already exists. I was waiting for you to say that. So the niches, the flavours. So for example, for the festive season, you might have lollipop that's flavoured with turkey, stuffing and cranberry sauce, or you might have a lolli or you might have a lollipop that's flavoured as rice and peas and oxtail soup flavoured oh lollipop. Oh my god. Or you might have like a chicken barani and oh. fish worry non flavoured lollipop. Or oh. and of course, because we want to be inclusive, you have to include vegan and gluten free options. <laughs> You know, this is needed. I don't know what you're I don't know why you're oh, laughing. Wow. Listen, hold on. Why are you laughing? This is a very serious thing. Or uh, even like spaghetti bolognese, oh. flavored lollipop as well. I think your idea is more creative than yours. Okay. But his idea I'll take that. It's also um Is it more it's, it's more, more it's more creative. Mine is more eccentric. Yeah, yours would help someone who is a keen person who makes fry ups every right. night. They would enjoy that. What about the king? I don't know who pops enjoy up it. As <laughs> No, I don't know. Oh, man, that's... I put really? a lot of thought into that, actually. Wow. It, was a good effort. it was a good effort. It was a good effort. But I guess we'll have to leave it to Madame Laporte here. And of course, the viewers, what do you think of Ed's idea? It's toaster with the 30 second delay. And what do you think of my flavoured lollipop? Let us know in the comments below. Which Just think. think about when you butter your toast and the butter melts nicely. And then you get to the second piece of toast and it's just hard. And you're like, oh, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. If only the toast popped out 30 seconds later. Okay. It's a tough, tough decision. It's, it's tough. I mean, I've got someone who is very creative and, you know, you've thought about some seasonal sort of product here, some, some sort of different flavours for, for different seasons. Mm. I like that, but I'm just not sure it's mass enough for what I'm looking for. I like, I like the idea of, you know, Everyone's got a toaster in their household, I suppose. Yeah. Everyone has a toaster. Not, not everyone's gonna like a turkey flavored lolly. So, <laughs> so we have options. No, I'm afraid. I don't want to hear no more. Um. <laughs> so I think, on that basis, it's with regret, but you're fired. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> great disappointment, Bailey Lepore. Thank you for the opportunity, Karen, Claude. Thank you for the opportunity, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. You got it here. Um, I'm very disappointed, but you know it is what it is. I think the better product won. So take care. Have a wonderful time. Sayonara. Ciao. Au revoir. Bye. hit show, most successful candidate ever on TV, social media, obviously your numbers have gone through the roof and that obviously comes with both good and bad attention. So my question to you is what has been the most weird thing that you've been dm so far? Ooh. Kind of personal. Generally, oh. my like, following count have been, has been really positive, but yeah. I've, I've had this one's a bit weird, I'll just show you. Oh well, I wasn't expecting to. You can see one. See. Oh, okay. Oh wait. my god. Oh wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Is that 
So that has been the Apprentice 2019's winner, Karina Laporte. Thank you. Uh, to close the video, Karina, if you want to give a message to the to the people, let them know where they can find you, your socials, get the message out there, let, let the people know. Well, thanks for having me, guys. Oh, it's been a pleasure. Thank, thank, thank you, you so here. much. Let me just tell the people, so Joe Bakehouse is situated South East London, Herne Hill. Pop by, come and get some bread, get some hot chocolate. Yeah, Eddie has tried everything. He oh, loves I've tried everything. everything. <laughs> I recommend the Topping Up Latte. Topping Up Latte. Mm. We've got festive hot chocs at the minute. So yeah, pop down. Follow us on Instagram at Joe Bakehouse. Yes. It might come up on the screen. But yeah, come and visit us. Uh, doors are open and we'll be opening up a Joe Bakehouse shortly next year. Woo! I'm looking forward to that one. I'm looking forward to that. Second job, yeah, next year. So thank you for joining us. I've been your boy Miles. Been joined by the fellow agent Ed. Obviously, Karina, thank you again for joining us. If you liked our video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And until the next video from all of us at Agents of Screen, peace.